salute to you. The greatest fans in all of auto racing, dirt late model fans, the best of the best in dirt late model racing. The Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series, the starting field for the 24th annual Dixie Shootout. Here they are. McDowell sure has given it a good run this year, and he finished. He won the Derlay on Dream back in June. He was second to Bloomquist in the World 100 in a top five at Brownstown a few weeks ago. Running well in Knoxville last week. Still, he had some issues. Jimmy Owens on the inside of row number two rolled a car last Thursday night in Knoxville, Iowa. He's at a club 29. The new sweet Bloomquist for Chris Madden alongside. The Dixie Shootout. Who's going to go to victory lane here tonight in Woodstock, Georgia? Here we go. And Bloomquist trying to force Matt McDowell to the outside. He'll do it down the next straightaway. Matt and Jimmy Owens in trouble early on as he slid up sideways. He'll lose two spots. Owens back to fifth as they come out of turn four. It's zero out in front. What else is new? McDowell runs in second, man. His third, fourth is Pappy. Battle for fifth. Blanket chip on the outside of Owens. Then you have Francis. Then you have Jacobson. Clanton into the point center. Down on the number five. Work at the bottom. Out in turn four. Bloomquist still in front. How about the rookie, Jason Pappy? The California native in his first trip to Dixie Speedway. Trying to close that gap of the rookie of the year chase between himself and Jason Hughes with three point paying events left. Right now in fourth here in the Dixie Shootout. That's a career best run for him right now in the Lucas Oil Series. Owens is fifth, Lincolnship sixth, seventh Francis, eighth Jacobs, and ninth is Clam, tenth runs down a deal. As they come out of turn four, Bloomquist has led the first four laps here tonight. Got down the back straight away in the old smoky moon shiny in the Durham power plant. Under that hood of that sweet Bloomquist at three into one. Dale McDowell still second. Last year's winner, Mad runs in third. Pappy still fourth. Fifth runs, Jimmy Owens. Scott Bloomquist, first won this race back in 1993, Johnny Clark, 21 years ago. Right now, he's already out of turn two down the back straightaway, six complete. Dale McDowell, two-time winner of this race. The last Georgia to win it. In 2001, Chris Madden. Happy Jimmy Owens, and you have Blankenship, Francis, Jacobson, Plan, and O'Deal. Right now, Owens running fifth, O'Deal tenth. That would be a difference of 25 points. As they come out of turn four, that would cut it to a point speed of 20 after this. We had our own tomorrow night. Bloomquist down. He will start to pick up the tail of the field of traffic. This will be McDowell's chance to close. Chris Mann still third. Pappage now receives pressure for the 20 of Jimmy Owens. Owens started third. Slipped back to fifth on the opening lap. And right now, five spots ahead of his competition to the championship. Donald, who runs in 10. Chris Horry to turn number one. We've scored 10 here tonight. 10 in the books. Holding to go in the Dixie shootout down the back straight away, McDowell. Now we'll start to close with the Team Dillon Warrior, the Team Dillon Warrior. And Chris Mann and Jason Pappy, Jimmy Owens, then John Blankenship and Steve Francis. Blankenship trying to get that first Lucas Oil victory of the season after a career best season in 2013. Meanwhile, it's going to start to get a little tighter now. Down the front straight away, balloon twisted, heavy traffic into one. All 12 laps in the books. Down the back straight away. That last lap, Lundquist at a 16-6. McDowell at a 16-2. Dale will start to close. 
He ran second to zero in the dirt lane on the dream. Or the, uh, the world of the 100. He beat him. In the dirt lane on the dream blank. And Chip ran second that night. He's going to turn number two down the next right away. Heavy traffic for zero. Here comes Mac Daddy Dale McDowell closes. Dale McDowell now will take to the bottom on the turn number four. Heavy traffic for Bloomquist now as McDowell is within the length and a half now on the bottom of the line. Here comes Dale McDowell on a turn number two as the crowd comes to its feet down the back straight away. On a chilly night in Georgia, the home state driver, and here comes Chris Madden up top. Here comes Pappy to the hunt. Meanwhile, Madden on the outside of McDowell in a turn number one. The 15 complete. Oh, and Bloomquist spins! Bloomquist spins! And the crowd goes crazy! Now, and you never know what's going to happen in Dirt Lake Motor Racing. That's why it's so much fun. That's why we have these big crowds everywhere we go. Dale McDowell out in front. Here we come on a turn four back underway. 15 score to the Dixie shootout. Keep an eye on man. How about the young the Pappage are throwing the elbow to one? How about Jason Pappage, the rookie? This would be one of the biggest upsets ever in Dirt Lake Motor Racing. Jason Pappage, second to the rookie of the year. Jason almost getting sideways as Jacobson. Here comes O'Neill. Don O'Neill on the move. Oh, baby, it's getting up there in the points down the back straightaway. Owens right now is ahead of O'Neill. Work out at turn four, 17 in the books. Dale McDowell, your leader, they're going bonkers here. In the middle on back, running two, three wide here at Dixie Speedway, but Dale McDowell out in front. The coach on the move, David Payne coming through at new Capital. Payne around Roberts. 18 scored. It's McDowell, Madden, Pappy, Jones is fourth. Fifth is Blankenship, O'Neill sixth, Francis seventh, Jacobson eighth, Roberts ninth, Payne is tenth. Weaver up to 11th. Weaver ran third here a year ago. Down the back straight away. Now Chris Madden up close on McDowell. That last lap, it was 16-0 for Madden, 16-1. For Dale Mack as they come out of turn 420 in the books, 30 to go. Scott Bloomquist dominated for the first 15 laps. Looked at it turn two in heavy traffic and went to the tail. As they work out of turn four, down the main straightaway. There you go, Dale Mack into one of the team warrior. Earnhardt Childress engine of the hood. And trying to stay close. Pappy joining the race of his career down the back straightaway. Jason Pappage, the Californian impressive hitter out in the 91 P. 22 score. Right now, Jimmy Owens to get in fourth. Don O'Neill is sixth. That's a difference of 10 points. That's a difference of 10. That would cut the lead to 35, heading them on their own. But we still got a ways to go. We're not even halfway here tonight at Dixie. Out at two, down the back straightaway. It is still Dale McDowell. Chris Mann trying to stay with him. Madden the winner here a year ago again. Trying to go back to back for the South Carolina veteran. And a new sweet bloom quest. 24 star boy man right there in his tire tracks. Out of two down the back straightaway. Half each third. Oh, it's his fourth. Fifth is Blankenship. Sixth O'Neill. Seventh is Francis. Good battle for the eighth. Planton and Payne now. Pair of capital race car entries. Eight and 25. As they come out of turn number four, here comes Weaver in the 116. Randy Weaver is climbing to the top 10 for the first time in that 10 spot. 25 down now, lap 26. Dale Mack works it out of turn four. What a year for Dale Mack. Dream one, a runner up in the World 100, a top five in the Jackson 100. It Browns had the day in a few weeks ago. Down the back straightaway, trying to win his third. Dixie shoot out. Here he comes out of turn four. On the main straightaway, 27 completed tonight. They'll start to move into traffic. Jason used the last car in the lead lap. Lindquist has worked his way back up to 21st, though. As they hit it at turn number one. Again, Scott Lindquist dominated the first 15 laps, spun in turn two. On his own, had to go to the back. As they head down the main straightaway, out at turn four. Heavy traffic. This is where it got everything last time. 29 complete. They'll have 30 in the books next time around. Here comes Madden down the back straightaway. Chris Madden now. With 
Within striking distance of your leader, 20 to go down at turn number one, Matt Pappage, Owens, Blankenship. 20 to go in the Dixie shootout. It's a good one between the two Southeastern Hot Shoes. Georgia's Dale McDowell, South Carolina's Chris Madden. They come out at turn number four. Madden is there. Pappage is still with his striking distance for a career best victory. Jason Pappage, can he do it? What a victory that would be for Pappage. Now, meanwhile, Matt's going to work the outside of McDowell. 32 in the books coming up this time around. Now he'll try the crossover. Matt Daddy stays put. Chris on the inside. In the one for the lead. Madden's going to take the lead. Chris Madden takes the lead out of two down the next right away. Chris Madden has taken the lead. And we got a car slowing at turn four. Brandon Overton off the pace at turn number four. In car number five. Overton off the pace. The caution is nice out. On the inside in a one. But how about the rookie, the Californian Jason Pappage, looking to upset the field here tonight. He's got a good shot, a good restart for Pappage. Jason Pappage driving a race of his career. The most impressive he has been all season long. He battles down the back straight to open the door for Owens. Here comes O'Neill now. O'Neill behind Owens. The top two of the points. Oh, and Owens runs over the top of Pappage, and we got a big melee. And O'Neill slips by Owens. Jimmy Owens rolled over the left rear of Pappage's car, and the Don O'Neill slipped high for third. My goodness. What a change of events. Ben still with the lead. 15 to go, McDowell second, O'Neill third, Francis fourth. Owens is fifth, unbelievable. And Pappage had a shot to win tonight, but it looks like that's gone by the wayside. As Chris Mendoza to turn him with the lead. McDowell, O'Neill, Francis, Owens. Down the back straight away, my goodness sakes. Here comes Randy Lever, but Chris Madden is pulling away. 13 to go, down the back straightaway. Madden now, will they get back into traffic? That's the big question. O'Neill trying to track down McDowell. So O'Neill, in one corner, goes from sixth to third and passes Jimmy Owens, who was ahead of him by two spots. His teammate, Steve Francis, runs in fourth. Owens is fifth, and it's Pappage. Blankenship, Weaver, Clanton, and Roberts is now 10th. Casey Roberts up to 10th and a 101. About 10 to go. Coming up, we get to 10 or less laps to go, and there'll be a single file restart if we have a caution. Man running away right now. They get out at turn number two, down the back straightaway. Bloomquist trying to work his way. Bloomquist is back to 14th, Johnny Clark. Bloomquist back to 14th after having to go to the tail. He restarted 26th because nobody was out of the race when that happened on lap 15. He may end up with a top 10 the way he's going. You get a yellow, who knows what could happen. Come out of four, Madden still in front. That is 42 in the books, eight to go. McDowell second, O'Neill third, then it's Francis Owens. Down the back straightaway, man, and heavy traffic. McDowell and O'Neill have got to go now. They have got to go now because there's only seven to go coming up. This time up a turn four here at Dixie Speedway. And around you. Then you have McDowell, and there's O'Neill, Francis, and Jim Schultz, and then Pappage. And we got a car slowing at turn number four. We got a car slowing at turn number four. We may have to have a caution, and the caution is out. Caution is out for Frank Ingram. Seven to go. It's Chris Madden, Dale McDowell, Don O'Neill, Steve Francis, Jimmy Owens, fifth. It is Pappage, Blankenship, Weaver, Clanton, Roberts. On the restart. Here we go. Bloomquist will restart 13th. But it's a single file restart as they come out of turn two down the next right away. Madden pulls away. That was what Madden needed was a caution flag. It was out for Ingram. And he's cleared the track in front of him. As that cleared the track, and he has clear sailing right now. Down. down the back straightaway. Five to go coming up, Madden out of turn four. McDowell, O'Neill, Francis, Owens. 
Five laps to go in the Dixie shootout. Chris Madden trying to go back to back. Last driver to do that was Bloomquist back in 2010 and 2011. And that points battle right there, O'Neill running it third. Oh, it's his fifth. Down the back straight away, Madden right now cruising along in the 44 car. Out at turn four, down the main straightaway. Three to go. The difference between third and fifth, 25 points. Between O'Neill and Owens, that would boost the lead to 70 and they get around tomorrow night. Down the main straightaway, two to go. For back-to-back -back victories in the Dixie shootout. For Chris Madden, the third different leader this race. Shoots it to two to three. Cruising right along, he's started the season, red hot. Down the main straightaway, white flag, trying to end it in grand style at 2014. Madden out of turn two. Down the back straightaway. Back to back in the Dixie shootout. The most prestigious race of the southeastern part of the United States goes to South Carolina's Chris Mann with a victory. Second will be Dale McDowell, third down on the air, fourth Steve Francis, fifth Jimmy Owens. Six, Jason Pappy. Seventh, Randy Weaver. Eighth, John Blankenship. Nice Shane plan. Tenth goes to Casey Roberts and Scott Bloomquist. Goes from 26 to 11th at the finish. Back to back. In the Dixie shootout. How about it, ladies and gentlemen? The second year of your winner. How about it for Chris Smokey Mondrillard? Hey, great job, man. How about this? Looks like you got a brand new uniform, too. Yeah, first one in about 10 years, so. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, we had it finally break down and get us a new uniform, but uh, it matches my ride. One of the most prestigious races, you know, here in the southeast. You're from South Carolina. You've been coming down there a while. You finally got it last year to go back-to-back. -back. What does it mean for you, Chris? I mean, it's really awesome. You know, I, I just uh, I can't get that third one out of my mind. You know, we let that third one get away coming off a of four there for the win there, too. And, uh, you know, we broke a center out of a wheel. That would have been three in a row. Now, that would have really been awesome. But, you know, we can't do anything about that. But uh, we can tonight. We was uh, had a very good race car. I don't think we could have been much better. How about that? You're running third, 15 laps of the book. Scott out there by himself. I think just to go to the back after spinning. You're with Dale. You had a really good race with him, and you got the lead one lap 33. Yeah, you know, I hate that for Scott. You know, he's been really good all year. Uh, he just got in lap traffic there, and I think a lap car got into him and spun him around. But, um, you know, uh, hats off to him and for what he's done for me in my racing career. You know, he built me a new ride to race with here at the end of the year. And, uh, it's been awesome. How's it feel to have a new car? Uh, feels like driving a Cadillac now. <laughs> uh, no, this thing is uh, really unbelievable. You know, I'm excited about to get to race the rest of the year in it and um, start off next year. How's it feel to win a television race and feel this great crowd here tonight? Awesome. Uh, thank everybody for coming out supporting Dirt Racing. We appreciate each and every one of them. Thank all your great sponsors, Chris, of the 44 car. I'd like to thank uh, my family, my wife, my kids, uh, my brother-in-law, my sister uh, with Century Plastics, uh, Jamie, <clears throat> Jamie Henderson. It's been a real big help to me. Um, I just can't thank everybody enough. Uh, Cushman Paint and Body, uh, Ann and Jimmy Cushman's here tonight. You know, I'd like to thank those for what they do for me and help. I couldn't do it without each and every one of them. Every one of them plays a part in our racing program, and you can't forget to thank them enough. Congratulations to see you room. Thanks. Chris Murky, man, you winner back to back in the Dixie shootout in and out of Dixie Speedway. Wow. You got a heck of a break when Scott's on, and Chris comes up there and passes you on lap 33. Well, I thought it was going to be my day. I thought I was getting a gift, and uh, but we got looser as the night went on. We've, um, we've been struggling just a little bit in these conditions on hard tires, so. We threw some stuff in the car tonight and, and made some gains, and uh, but just got a little bit loose there. I think we, we missed it just a little bit. And 
as good as these guys are, Chris had the best car. I may, may have could have hold, held him off, you know, an open racetrack, but I wasn't maneuverable in traffic like I needed to be. So we think we know where it is. So uh, we can just keep pecking around top three, four, or five here, and we're happy. We had that late race caution. Did you think you had a shot of him on the restart, or would you rather see him get into heavy traffic and you could have closed on him? My only hope would have been in traffic. You know, out in clean racetrack, he was uh, he was the class of the field. You know, and and uh, at that point in time, so. Uh, it is what it is. We'll take second and come tomorrow night and see if we can't better it by one spot. Good run, Dale. Thank you, guys. Dale McDowell, you want to appear tonight? Thirty mate takes a point lead. Man, was that crazy on that restart down there? You're running sixth and you wound up in third. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it, you know, I don't know exactly. I've seen them bunch up there. Lucky you know what? And got underneath of them there. And, you know, we dug ourselves a whole qualifying and dug, got, you know, dug ourselves back out there. Accounts. How about, how about this one up here? Bloomquist had a foot spins on his own down there, turn two. Then it was a completely different race after that up there. Yeah, it was. I mean, you know, we're just happy. You know, I wish we got this peak motor on Crawford, Sobrian, Victory Lane, but this wasn't meant to be tonight. Well, you gained some more points on him, headed to Rome tomorrow night. How about, how do you like Rome Speedway for tomorrow night? Uh, I mean, I, I enjoy that place. You know, it, it's, it's a good racetrack. You're going to have to make some changes from tonight? No, I'll probably just go go like we are and see if I can't qualify a little better than I did tonight. All right, man. Good luck tomorrow night. Okay, thank you. Donald Neal comes home third. He adds 15 onto the points lead. It's now 60 heading into Dick's uh, Rome Speedway tomorrow.